Hello everyone. I am here to welcome you to my today's presentation where uh, we will embark on an insightful journey into the world of insurance analytics. So my name is Ravina Karni and I am excited to share my uh, comprehensive analysis of shield insurance through the lens of data driven insights. Okay. So in this presentation we will explore key metrics, trends and patterns within shield insurance uh, operations and uh, I have created one dashboard so this dashboard I have crafted to bring to light uh, valuable information about customer demographics, revenue growth and policy trends and uh, much more okay through uh, this um, data visualization I am unravel of the meaningful insights that can steer strategic uh, decision making for shield insurance Okay, and uh, so get ready to develop into a visually engaging and informative session that will provide uh, actionable intelligence, okay, for the future of that shield insurance. So let's navigate um, together and uncover the stories it holds. So let's go. This one is my home page where uh, it gives us the basic uh, information of all the pages. Okay, so I have created uh, five pages. So in that the first page is info page where uh, it gives us the basic overview regarding the shield insurance analysis then the next one is a general view where um, uh, this general view gives us the information regarding monthly revenue monthly customers and also the change percentage between them okay then the next one is sales analysis view so in that um, as the name indicates the sales mode view that means it gives us analysis of sales mode during different months and different customers and the next one is an age group analysis view so in that uh, we segmented different customers according to their age and depending on that age group the, uh, we analyze the data okay so let's go for one first page that is info page so this one is my info page uh, where uh, it gives us the information of shield insurance analysis the shield insurance is nothing but it's a company leading insurance company with decades of collective experiences and uh, uh, insurance is nothing but it is a mechanism of risk transfer and sharing by pooling of risk and funds among a group of individuals who are exposed to similar kinds of risk for the benefit of those who suffer loss on account of the risk okay and this shield insurance a uh, company offer customized and affordable insurance solutions to protect your business against potential risk and damages and providing you with peace of mind okay and uh, they are committed for their exceptional service and value their clients so let's go on my uh, first view that one is that is nothing but is a general view okay this one is my general view where uh, general view page okay so where uh, this uh, this these are the filters we have used there are it contains month day month wise data day wise data okay you have to select particular month and gives you a particular month then it gives us the data regarding that as a, as you see here if i am selecting january 23 then it gives the data related to january okay so that's why i'm creating this filter so that you can get the information regarding month wise and date wise and also I have created this uh, by using the sales mode so there are four modes used uh, um, in this company that is offline agent offline direct online uh, app and online website okay so uh, depending upon that sales modes also you have to check this data then uh, then this one are the four KPIs I am using so uh, where uh, it gives us the information of total customers total revenue daily uh, revenue growth and daily customer growth okay as uh, i'm saying that february 23 then it gives us the data uh, of last month also okay so last month and their percentage change whatever the change uh, percentage is that it indicates also that 
so as you see here the data uh, in february 23 the total customers are 3.89k and last month that means in january 23 it is 3.92 so the percentage change is uh, 0.87 percentage change so total customer customers are reduced and i am using the coloring uh, here and that means this red indicates the negative change okay and the green indicates the positive changes so as you see here the total revenue in is uh, in february 23 is 142.64 million and last month it is 141 so that means that is a positive 1% change so it is good for uh, uh, shield insurance company then this gives us the information regarding delhi revenue and delhi uh, delhi revenue growth and delhi customer growth so you have to select the uh, days also then it uses the data regarding days also okay so then the next one is an here I have creating uh, the revenue split and customer split which gives us the uh, information uh, this revenue split gives us the information of uh, revenue so as you see here the uh, the Delhi Mumbai Hyderabad and Chennai these are the four cities having highest revenue and these are the four cities having highest customers okay so and uh, the customer split gives you the information and regarding total customers and total revenue in the age group okay so as you see here the total customers are highest in the age of uh, age group of 31 to 40 and their total revenue is highest is for that is 48 million okay then and then after that this chart gives you the uh, revenue and customer in information uh, trend information depending upon the particular month as you see here in the month of March uh, the total revenue is 263 uh, million and uh, the total last month revenue is 143 million that means there is an 84 percentage change in the month of March okay then uh, then in the month of January there is an La least uh, change that is negative change and revenue is decreases okay and uh, if you click on that customer then it gives you the information regarding the customers okay that is total customers last month customers and their customer change okay in the month of March it gives us the highest customers that is uh, 7k uh, customers and uh, there is a customer change percentage is 82 percentage highest percentage change and in the month of February there is an lowest change okay that in the month of February there is an customers are uh, decreases negative change that means the customers are decreases so depending upon the particular month you will find the data customers then the next one this uh, graph uh, this table I am using that is a uh, customer segmentation uh, that uh, uh, gives us the detailing about uh, the cu customers their revenues their city and the age group so as you see here so the total customers are higher in Delhi uh, and these customers are in the age group of 31 to 40 so this one is my general view where you where you check the data regarding these filters or by using these filters and also it gives us the uh, uh, information basic information overview regarding total customers total revenue and daily growth revenue and daily customer growth revenue okay so man, let's go let's go on my next view that is sales mode analysis so this one is my sales mode page sales mode analysis page okay so here also I am using filters okay so you can check depending upon the particular month and depending upon the particular uh, day and um, as you see here I am using uh, the this pie chart for revenue split percentage by sales mode as you see here the offline agent sales mode has an highest revenue that is uh, uh, that is uh, 55.67 percentage okay then the uh, online website sales mode has an lowest revenue okay then the next one is I am creating the customers total customers split percentage by sales mode using this pie chart so as you see here 
the offline agent sales mode that means the sales mode has an offline agent has a highest total customers that is 15k is uh, the sales mode online website has an total customers are 3k which is very less okay then i am using this trend sales mode over month so i am using this line chart for that for indicating that uh, trend okay as you see here there are the four sales mode in the month of april as you see here the offline agent has an highest revenue that is 69 million then also in december the offline agent has an highest revenue that is 1102 million but in each month the offline agent has an highest revenue so okay then uh, then we will go for my next view that is age group view okay here is my age group analysis page so uh, as you see uh, that the here i am also using the filters okay and here it gives us uh, this uh, chart gives us the number of customers uh, depending upon that age group okay so the customers between the age group 31 to 40 are higher are higher than the other age groups okay uh, the uh, 11.2k customers are uh, are uh, in between the age group 31 to 40 then the next thing is that it gives us the information regarding the settlements with respect to that age group as you see here the age group 65 plus has an highest settlement okay then after that um, the 51 to 65 okay and the last one that is uh, the customers within the age group 18 to 24 have lowest settlements that is only 5 percentage okay 5.81 percentage then uh, this chart gives us the information of uh, total customers uh, between the particular age group and in particular month so as you see here the customers within the age group 31 to 40 are higher than any other okay than any other age groups so in march there are uh, the customers within 31 to 40 are 3.3 then the next one this uh, uh, table i am using this table which uses the information regarding the policies and the customers okay depending upon that age group so as you see the age group 18 to 24 has an uh, this policy id this is the policy id has an 42 customers which have which brings that policy then this uh, table gives us the information of um, uh, regarding the sales mode uh, and the customers within the particular age group so as you see here the offline agent has an highest customers within the age group 31 to 40 okay. if i am selecting the 18 to 24 then it uses the data regarding the 18 to 24 okay so whatever the data uh, between that then I am giving uh, 31 to 40 then it uses the data regarding the age group 31 to 40 okay so in that age group the highest settlement is uh, 5 point uh, so is 11.85 percentage and these are the policies between 31 to 40 these are the sales mode okay so depending upon that uh, your selection it uses the data or so this one is the analysis depending upon the age group okay customers age group so this one is my uh, dashboard presentation and uh, uh, i hope these insights are helpful for the company uh, for the company's growth so thank you everyone so thank you Dhaval patel sir hemanand Badibal sir and also of course code basics for such a great opportunity thank you so much